Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be the official intro to this video, but in case it is, what's happening is my buddy Aaron Dykstra, who you've seen on this channel a few times. More than, right, you, right at 18. More than you think. It's only four. I don't know. <laughs> it's his birthday in four days. Uh, the Monday, it is currently Friday, the 21st of May, and his birthday is on Monday. And he bought my old 1988 Land Cruiser, FJ62 Land Cruiser from me two years ago. It's an old girl. She's got 250,000 miles on her and the engine is now toast. And Aaron works very hard and no one, you know, he doesn't do much for himself. So Aaron's mom basically helped his wife, London, and I pay for a replacement engine for the Land Cruiser. So what's happening, London and Aaron have gone out of town. London took him out for the weekend for his birthday. And I'm gonna swap in a used engine and surprise Aaron on Monday. I've got some friends coming in. We got Wyatt, my buddy Christian, and Evan Graham from across the street at Golden Cactus. And Walker is gonna be around, hopefully to help film some of it. Here's what's happening though, is so, London's been telling me how to get the cruiser because I need to I have my trailer with me today I want to go pick it up and steal it. This is like an episode of overhaul it if you guys have ever seen that show So she said, you know, she's gonna leave the key in the mailbox You need to go get the key and then before I had a chance to respond London just text me in all caps and I said, oh, no, what I was just about to text you back She goes I forgot about the goddamn ring doorbell <laughs> <laughs> she said, let me know when you head that way so I can intercept. I'll get the neighbor who was dog sitting to intercept the key so that you don't show up on the ring. <laughs> and so I'm- um, wear masks. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been so hard to keep this a secret from Aaron. Neighbor Troy is going to get both the Land Cruiser and the Volvo keys for you. It will only pick up an alert if you're on the front porch. Okay. So it's 2.30. I have a 7,000 things I should be doing right now, but I think what we're about to do is go steal my old Land Cruiser. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So hey guys, this is Troy. And we're gonna steal. We're gonna steal Aaron's Land Cruiser, which used yeah. to be my Land Cruiser. Right. It uh, doesn't run, so it's gonna be tough stealing it. We're gonna have to do a little bit of pushing. Where's your thing? So I'm down the street, um, just because I wanted to see what the lay of the land was first. Aaron, this is for Wait. you. Your neighbor's in on it. Everyone's in on it. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> Now I just got to deliver on my 48 hour engine <laughs> swap promise. Woohoo! You need to help push? Oh, I'm good, man. Yeah, you can coast now. Yes. Yes, it's working. You're stealing your truck. <laughs> You've been overhauled. <laughs> um, come up to my equal with my hood. Come around it and we'll jump start it. Nice, nice, that's nice. it. Nice work, Troy. Oh, Christ, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ride safe. Come on, buddy, stay up, pay attention. <laughs> God, I'm doing so many things right now. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this thing unloaded. Get it in here. So people, uh, Aaron's pretty well known in town, so I'm hoping people don't see this thing and start texting him and be like, hey, what's your truck doing? Yeah, there's some problems. A little bit of problem there. All right, let's get this thing, let's get this thing inside. Temperature 
gauge is pegged, smoking like crazy. Yeah, she, she not happy, she tired. It still sounds good though, to Toyota's credit, ticks like a sewing machine. This engine I'm sure would be a great candidate for a rebuild. I guarantee you, it's probably just piston rings, head gasket, little kiss from a machine shop and it'd probably be fine, but I can't do that in the span of a weekend. So we're gonna yank this bad boy out and put one in that's not as tired. Okay, so a little bit about the car, for those of you that don't know, this is a 1988 Toyota Land Cruiser. These things are so cool and so rare. It's technically classified as a wagon, but of course it's an SUV, but it's a, got two seats, a fairly modern interior. The, the interior of this one particularly uh, was, is very clean. The headliner's in great shape. Dash has some cracks in it, that's not the best. The carpet's in good shape. The seats, other than the side of the driver's seat over there, are in fantastic shape. The door panels are in really good shape. The body's straight, but it does have rust. It's, it's been two shades, three shades of red um, for a while. I think before I bought it a few years ago, it was in a front end collision and the front half of the car was repainted poorly because all the clear coat is peeling off and now it's just, patina doesn't even begin to describe it. But a little bit about these things. So this is a four liter straight six fuel injected gasoline engine, Japanese made obviously, and it's great. But anyway, uh, I rebuilt pretty much the entire undercarriage of this thing while it was mine. I rebuilt the front axles completely, front axle completely. The rear axle, I rebuilt everything except the diff. So bearings, seals, brakes, hubs. Redid the exhaust, steering, all new tie rods, connecting rods. I didn't do much to the engine while I had it because it didn't need anything. I mean, it needs a lot, but you know, it kept running and it was sort of just a fun vehicle for me. So a little bit of what an FJ62 looks like from the inside. Here's the dash everything in its 80s glory. It's actually fairly modern for a 1980s. It had uh, electric windows, can you believe it? <clears throat> and power mirrors. This thing was hot stuff. But basically we have this, which has all the accessories on it. And this is the engine I got from cruiserparts.net. This engine came out of one that apparently only had 80 to 100,000 miles on it. So versus 220,000. So this thing's like brand new, basically. All right, so here's a little indication on how she's doing. This is the intake. Lots of cloudy oil in there. So that is oil mixed with water, mixed with coolant. A uh, pretty dead ringer for a head gasket problem. Uh, here's the intake too. Soaked in oil, it reeks of oil. It's the top of the air box. Um, so how it's supposed to work is if there's any blow by, which is oil vapors that make it into the top of the engine or the uh, PCV system, which is positive crankcase ventilation. It comes out of the valve cover and gets recirculated into the intake so it gets burned again in the engine. So if there's excess oil making its way through the engine and into the intake somehow, then all that gets burned and then it smokes a bunch out the back. So that's the smoke that we're seeing is oil getting burned which is no bueno. Um, it's oil and coolant getting burned because the head gas gets toast. And um, it was already smoking a bit before that, which is, you know, piston rings are probably shot. Um, it's burning oil and wherever the oil is coming from. So first thing I've seen that's like, oh yeah, this, uh, this old girl's tired. There was also a bunch of cat poop over here. That was disgusting. Cat, it was very old and dry, but somehow it still smelled. <laughs> Amazing. Cats smell so bad. Well, the stuff that comes out of cats smell bad. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. And the 
they have started to arrive. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Hi, Dingo. You ready to work? F you. Sure. Well, this is where I ended up last night. Front end's all taken apart. We can get to that engine mount now. I think the other one's underneath the alternator under there. Sorry for the vertigo. <laughs> I'm trying to, only trying to take apart what I need to to remove the engine and then we can go through all the stuff once it's out. Gang's all here. Where'd you get this thing from? I ain't staying. I got this from cruiserparts.net. They're in New Hampshire. Mm. They painted it with the spark plug still in. Uh-huh. Yeah, they gave it a they primed it with oil and then and then painted it painted all just black. Boy. Well, I hope it runs. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Hey, me too. <laughs> We cut out a lot of the disassembly before we pulled the engine, just because it's kind of all the same. I have replaced the engine in a few different vehicles this exact same way. And if it's two of the same engines and you're swapping accessories over, there are layers to an engine. Um, the different systems and whatnot, the manifolds, the wiring, the vacuum system. We did replace a bunch of gaskets and seals on the new engine because it's out and we it's easy to do that. So the new engine that we got, uh, we replaced the rear main seal, front main seal. Those are the seals that seal around the crankshaft, keep the oil from leaking out. We replaced the uh, push rod cover gasket, we replaced the oil pan gasket, and we replaced the valve cover gasket. Really replace as much parts as you can. The rest of the gaskets we replaced as we built it. So. Once we did all that, we cleaned it, we shot it with some spray paint real quick, and then it was time to, on Sunday morning, I started to transfer all the accessories over. Good morning. Sunday, uh, I got in this morning and I cleaned the floor because it was bothering me. We made such a mess yesterday getting this guy prepped. Uh, things are looking good. Things are feeling good. I got the old engine up on the table sitting in a tire So it's eye level with me so I can really get a sense of what's going on and uh, Hopefully this goes quickly the mo the complicated areas over here where the intake manifold and exhaust manifolds are All this vacuum nightmare. I'm hoping I don't have to mess with a lot of it, but you know with every best laid plans, there's a million ways for it to go wrong. But patience is going to be the key today. Patience, organization, labeling, taking pictures. Uh, that's how you do stuff like this. So we got this engine here, we got that engine there. I'm gonna roll this one over here so I can just literally turn around and transfer things. So yes, I'm gonna start ripping into it and here we go. Engine is in the car, sitting on its own motor mounts, it's fully bolted to the transmission. And uh, man, what a milestone. So now we just gotta hook up everything that makes it go. And uh, good to go. Evan went to go get some beer from next door to celebrate this fantastic checkpoint. So yeah. Okay, there's oil in it. Everything's plugged back up to the computer. Theoretically, all we need to do is hook a battery up to it and it'll start. Theoretically. Place your chances. What do you think the chances are? Mm, 
I'm going to say 60%. I think there's a 60% chance that we forgot to hook something up. So you're saying 40%. So 40% chance that it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. If you're ready, I guess. Stand back. It's going to be loud. <laughs> forward. Yeah. Yeah. All right, exhaust is on. A lot of the accessories are on. We're tired. I'm exhausted. Real tired. Let's start this. Okay, it's Monday. It's 8, 10. I have to diagnose a high oil pressure issue. We officially have a faulty oil pan, but that's not my fault. It's literally how it came from cruiser parts. Aaron will just have to deal with an oil leak for a little bit until he gets the oil pan replaced. Uh, I'm gonna pull off the oil pressure sensor and clean it. See if that fixes my high oil pressure issue. If it does, then uh, totally forgot to buy coolant. Uh, then we top it up with coolant, put the car back together and get it delivered. So enough talking, let's go. Still doesn't work. Gotta figure that out. Let's back it out. So something's not quite right. It has no power. I'm not sure if that is, you know, timing, fuel. I'm betting it's ignition timing. I didn't get that dialed in perfectly, but you know what? I swapped an engine in a weekend. So, yeah, that feels good. Okay, well, we're about to run everything back over to Aaron's place. It's about 1.30, I just got a haircut. And he's due back around 3.30. Well, London is gonna get a few of his friends together uh, this evening for a birthday party around six and my goal right now is to drive this thing over to his house get it parked exactly where it was that way it doesn't look like anything's happened and then when we're hanging out later tonight at the party i can just casually mention that his cruiser has a new engine in it i'm really hoping that we can tame the surprise and, to, and he has no idea so we'll see but Look at it, it's running, sounds good. I think I got a bit of an exhaust leak down there, but that happens. 
Um, like I said, it still leaks oil. I had a conversation with a guy from Cruiser Parts. He said that the oil pan the engines come with is by no means guaranteed. They just leave it on there as a protection method for the bottom of the engine. They highly recommend you use your oil pan or a new oil pan. I did not know that. I wish I did. That way we wouldn't have had this, this oil leak. It leaks about a drop every 16, 17 seconds. But other than that, the distributor needs to be advanced. I think probably a tooth and uh, oil pressure sender doesn't work anymore. But other than that, it's good. Aaron, sorry I couldn't get it perfect for you, man. But I think a few hours with someone who knows what they're doing, they'll be able to set this thing straight for you. So at least it's got a new heart and all the hard parts done. Love you, buddy. Troy pulled the Volvo out. Um, I think it's close. He wouldn't notice He's not gonna notice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the oil pan underneath it. Okay, you think y'all So it's going to be totally uh, <laughs> This is for you. Your neighbor's in on it. Everyone's in on it. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. <laughs> Watching Troy try to figure out how to shift gears in the Volvo was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> You've been overhauled. <laughs> oh. Insert montage. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Slow it down. Slow it. Hold it. Oh, oh my God. God. It's so warm. Hold for <laughs> it's so warm. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay, here. You guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> It comes with some caveats. <laughs> Bunch of jerks. Yeah. Oh, dude, thank you. You're so welcome. That's amazing. I just got to sit and wait for your I gotta bring. I gotta bring you up to speed on a few things. Okay. It's not a hundred percent done. No worries. But I mean, that would be pretty. That would almost be concerning if it was. Yeah. I know.